morning, sir. Can you please introduce yourself? Good morning. I'm uh, Captain Clyde Domingo, uh, duty officer here at BRP Antonio Luna. All right, very well. Can you please first uh, tell us the basic specifications of uh, your uh, frigate? Uh, this ship is uh, 107.5 meters in uh, length, 13.5 uh, meters in uh, beam, and uh, with a displacement of 2,600 uh, tons at full load. We have a complement of 110 uh, personnel powered with uh, four engines that can attain a speed of uh, maximum of 25 knots and a cruising speed of uh, 50 knots. What type of helicopter do you have on board? On board is the Leonardo AW109 helicopter. This helicopter is for uh, maritime uh, patrol and surveillance. What uh, launcher is this? Uh, this is the uh, sea-mounted triple trainable uh, torpedo launcher equipped with uh, the Blue Shark uh, torpedo from uh, Lignex. And you use this for anti-submarine warfare? This is for anti-submarine warfare. Alright, so we are now uh, on the bridge. May you share with us the mission sets of uh, BRP Antonio Yuluna? This uh, ship is a uh, multi-mission uh, capable ship, so it can perform uh, anti-air, anti-surface, uh, subsurface and uh, electronic warfare capability that can uh, detect targets as well as uh, track them. And uh, right now, uh, this ship is busy in uh, performing uh, protection in our territorial sea, extending up to our uh, exclusive economic zones and uh, protection of our uh, vast coastlines, which is uh, more than 20,000 nautical miles. The uh, RP Antonio Luna is uh, one of the most modern, most recent uh, ship in the Philippine Navy fleet. Is, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. This ship uh, was launched in uh, 2019 and arrived in the Philippines on February uh, 2021 and was commissioned on March uh, 19, 2021 and it has been uh, performing her uh, duties uh, throughout the country, particularly at uh, the uh, western side of the Philippines. And it was built uh, in uh, South Korea by uh, Hyundai Heavy Industries, is that correct? Yes, yes that's correct. Yes. Uh, can you share with us the main weapon systems you have on board? Yes, our uh, main weapon system is the 76mm uh, super rapid multi-feed uh, gun system from uh, Leonardo, located forward. And our secondary gun is the 30mm uh, smash, uh, located aft, which is for uh, anti-air, anti-surface uh, capability. You have uh, anti-ship missiles as well, the Sea Star from uh, LIG Next One from South Korea? Yes, we have the uh, LIG Next One from uh, South Korea, the uh, surface to support face uh, missile located at, at midship. This is the first time that the Philippine Navy vessel is fitted with an anti-ship missile. How important is this, uh, in your opinion? Uh, with this uh, capability, we, we are uh, uh, happy to have this uh, to be uh, uh, at par with uh, our counterparts. Uh, do you know when uh, you will be, or the Philippine Navy will be conducted the first firing, the test firing of the, the anti-ship missile? Uh, it is currently under uh, uh, process uh, for the firing of these uh, missiles. But uh, we also have the uh, surface to air missile, the uh, uh, Simbad uh, RC uh, equipped with the uh, Mistral 3 missiles, which will be fired uh, a few weeks from now. Yeah, for uh, in, in uh, relation to the uh, anniversary of the Philippine Navy. And these two will be a first for the Philippine Navy? Yes, yes, it will be first. And in uh, looking to the future, uh, are you looking at uh, new systems uh, to fit on the, on the ships to, uh, to improve their uh, capabilities? Yes, uh, this ship is, uh, has provisions for future upgrades, like the uh, H-cell uh, uh, vertical launch system for surface-to-air missile. It has also provision for towed array uh, sonar system 
as well as the uh, uh, provision for the uh, closed-in weapon system. Those are the uh, future upgrades uh, that this ship will undergo. Captain, thank you so much for the tour. It was uh, really nice and really interesting, and uh, you have a really nice ship. Can you, one last question, can you please tell us uh, what's next for BRP Antonio Luna? So after the AMEX, we will be proceeding to the Philippines for the uh, uh, International Free Review and the Asian Multinational Exercise together with some of the participants in AMEX. Well, thank you again so much and a fair winds and following seas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.